Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the FTAC Siege again here in Modern Warfare 2 Season 5. Now here after this recent update, they buffed the damage range on the FTAC Siege, making this weapon even better. So we have an updated build you have to copy down. So if you guys are new, enjoy today's video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel with notice on, and let's get into it. Now getting to our build guys, for the first attachment, I do recommend going to the barrel and adding on the Super Attack VI for your first attachment here. It's the best barrel for the FTAC Siege. It gives you the most damage range, full velocity, recoil control, and hip fire accuracy your bullets are traveling faster your targets faster they're traveling further the bullets are more stronger at those longer ranges it's just a great attachment here for your first one so make sure to go ahead and add this on now for the laser we need to increase that handling we need to be more aggressive and everything so i do recommend the diod 70 laser the second laser here so we're getting faster aim down sight speed faster spit the fire speed and since we are running the iron sights i'm not really a big fan of adding red dot sights or scopes on the ftac siege since the fire rate is too crazy Crazy. you get a lot of visual recoil and everything so the aiming stability will help a lot with the iron sights for this build so make sure to have this on for your next attachment now for the stock we're going to add on the wire stock for the aim walking speed recoil control and sprint speed we're moving faster while aiming down sight so we're strafing really quick with this build we're moving around faster we're running faster around the map being in people's faces getting into more engagement and you will see that in today's gameplay and we also have some recoil control which is always good for the f tag siege here now, for the rear grip, we are going to be adding on the FTAC seed for a little bit more recoil control, just making this weapon not move at all. And with these select few attachments here, we have full control of the build, making this weapon really nasty. And then jumping into our final attachment here, guys, for the underbarrel, I decided to go with the Rebel HX grip. It's the best underbarrel for this weapon, giving you a ton of recoil steadiness, hip fire accuracy, and hip recoil control. Now, getting to our tunes here, we're going to start with the Rebel HX grip. Now, the only thing I'm changing here is the aim down sight speed at .34. That's the only thing that you need to change here. We don't need more hip hip recoil control we don't need walking speed we never have to worry about that here so the only thing that matters is the aim down sight speed helping that handling be a little bit faster which is good we have a two tick on that recoil control we have a tick on that accuracy we really don't need anything else here so make sure to have this down now for the barrel we have our damage range at point 21 and our recoil stance at point 31 this makes the weapon really easy to control very steady with the barrel and also our damage range we have a two tick on that range a two tick on that damage it's going to work perfect at those longer ranges you'll see that in today's gameplay now for the diod 70 we're just going to increase that handling as you guys see here on the graph in the middle with that three tick we have a 23.03 on the aim down sight speed and 0.37 on that sprint of fire speed just helping us be more aggressive we're over that 50 percent mark on our handling with this weapon so it makes this weapon really nice up close and personal you're gonna get a lot of easy kills here now for the stock, we have our aim walking speed at 1.70 and our aim down sight speed at 2.19. We're working on some mobility, working on some aim down sight speed, which is always good here. And then for our final attachment for the rear grip, I have my sprint to fire speed at 0.25 and my aim down sight speed at 0.52. But they made this weapon even better here after the Season 5 Reloaded update. I don't believe it really needed a buff, but they made the weapon better, so make sure to copy this build down. Let me know in the comment section, did this weapon need a buff? What was your highest kill game? And do you like the class? So, but in today's gameplay, like I said though i dropped nearly 200 kills using this build it's super fun so make sure to copy down so if you guys are new again enjoy today's video hit that sub button hit that bell thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one that's kind of crazy how you're playing like that man all right i would definitely say though i'm gonna chuck that down after i'm dead you go each other way same way I'm out of here. I'm out of here. All right. I will say 100% though, with this SMG getting buffed, it definitely feels more like an SMG than it does a pistol. So uh, I would, I, I've i said it in a, a bunch of videos, even before it got like a little secret nerf. This weapon easily is better than most SMGs, but now after this update, 100%, this weapon is super good. I just... And I'm also using the buffed lock with 300 because it uh, got a slug buff. So most shotguns actually got a slug buff. So there we go. The range, man. Oh, my God. I haven't uploaded a shipment gameplay, and I can't tell you how long. But I'm just showing you how, like, how good the FTAC Siege is up close now. And same with the Lockwood. I might show the build in the, today's video. I might not. I don't know. Not really sure yet kind of have that guy just looking up in the sky right now so that's that's good not everybody's looking up in the sky but 
I will say, though, the medium range on this weapon is kind of filthy, especially up close. There we go. And with this build, I still have it where you can control the weapon pretty well. Go ahead and throw an ammo box down. I'm going to not yet. We're not going to chuck a nade down over there yet. I do want to get a nuke, though. Wow, man. The range is nuts. This weapon is definitely a... a it, it's a changer, man. And, of course, I die. I was on a brutal. I knew I was on a brutal. I gotta get out of here. Hold on. We're gonna chuck that over. And I tried getting another nade, man. That's unfortunate. Alright. Thank God my teammate killed him. I was about to say, dear lord, what are we doing, guys? There we go. Come on. Come on. Don't die. There we go. Oh. Bro, this... I... I that is one thing I do hate about slug rounds is if you need a hip fire, most of the time you're not going to win that gunfight. So that nade over, that's a kill. Easy. Thank God for that hip fire at least. We're going to chuck that down. I do want to get another helicopter though. All right, there's our other helicopter. I am just worried about this dude that is using an LMG. That's the only That's the only thing I'm worried about this game. I didn't know if there was another dude there. All right. All right. We, we need a nuke now. We need a... Uh, we got to get a nuke. I don't want to use my... Sh I don't want to use my advance quite yet. I kind of want to save it. Is he in here? What is homie doing? All right. Easy. There we go. We're at 50 kills. Nothing too crazy quite yet. On a 15. Doesn't feel like it. Feels like someone higher, but... All right, we definitely need to throw this down. This is one thing I still hate. I kind of wish they fixed it, but I don't think it'll ever get fixed. Is that they need to fix where you only get 10 bullets per... And I die again. That is so unfortunate. But they really need to fix it where every time you pick up a scab pack, it's just not 10 bullets. And every time you pick up an ammo box, it's not just one magazine. I feel like it should be more than that. But... It is a pistol, so I don't know if it's the coding that they have. I know they probably don't want to switch it, but All right, let's give this a reload again. I do have an advance. We're going to go ahead and call that bad boy in. A little double kill. I don't know what this guy's doing, but he's playing like a turtle. There we go. I mean, I could be extra. Oh, it doesn't work like it did in Modern Warfare 19. They don't explode. I thought they exploded. And that wasn't a kill. What? We're going to chuck that down. Oh, I could get that double kill. All right. We at least got one kill, though. All right. I'm not going to freak out. That's how I die most of the time. I freak out. Oh my god. Alright, I'm chilling. Yo, teammate, you gotta you gotta you gotta save me, man. 76 kills. I mean we're we're kinda cooking. We're cooking still. I don't want it oh I don't have an advance anymore, never mind. The range. And, of course, I die again on another streak. I love the slug rounds on this thing. If you're accurate enough, it's nice. There we go. I mean, throw a, throw a sniper scope on this thing. You have a, you have more of a sniper than you do any, really anything else. And I got stuck. That's so unfortunate. 88 kills. We have a teammate on our team as well, kind of cooking, but. I'm going to grab your streak. No worries. I got it. I can counter UAV. We'll take it. We'll get some extra points. Give me some extra points. I'll take it. We like that extra XP. All right. Guy just got knocked out. 
Did I just dodge a rocket? All right, we got a helicopter. All right, we're about to get our 100th kill here. Uh, Texas was our 100th kill. All right, now we're kind of just chilling. This is where I... This is where I kind of want to get my nuke now. Kind of spawn trap them and just kind of chill right here. We're, we're kind of on cruise control right now. We're going to toss that over, and of course, that happens. I'm going to toss that over. Just casually jumping over a rocket. You know, that's not... That's always not expected, but it happens. No, don't kill me. How did I... And, of course, a riot shield. Oh, my lord. No way this is happening in this game. All right, let's get out of here. Of the, let's get out of the smoke. That's a kill. Oh, that's a triple. We'll take that one. And, oh my god, man. Uh, is this going to be my first game where I don't drop a nuke? I mean, I, I will say, though, I mean, I'll substitute it with a high kill game, though. I'll, I'll, I'll take that over not getting a gameplay or a nuke. Kind of just praying and praying. Let me get my tack seed back. I mean, I'm telling you, if... You know, if they actually just gave me more ammo... I mean, we still have a lot of time. I'm not really worried. I'm not too worried, actually. Oh, if I aimed up just a tiny bit higher, he would have been gone. There we go. Just in case they're over there, we're going to go ahead and call this in. Get that UAV. About, about drop shot him with a shotgun. Yeah, we need a, we need a move. How did I miss my shot again? I suck. All right, there we go. And and we die again. No way. The only way I'm gonna win this game is if I drop a nuke. That's the only way I'm gonna win this game. I don't wanna. That's a clat. No, it wasn't. Hold on. Just give me a second here. Let me just brainstorm and think of a game plan, and I will succeed with the nuke. I mean, I feel like I just need to play a little bit more conservative, but I don't know. I can't really go over there because it's going to be difficult because now they're going to start spawning over here. I can't ego chow him. Uh, what do I do here? Grab some ammo. Alright, hold on. We got something cooking, hold on. You know, although I'm reloading a lot with this build, I mean, it's fine, you know? A triple kill, we'll take it. Alright, on a 15. This is redemption right here. And I do have to say, I mean, I'm kind of, I mean, I'm kind of zooming with this build, though. This is like a very high mobility build with both, with both weapons. I'm using the Lockwood, doesn't have a barrel, moving pretty quick with it. And All right, now what I need to do is I need to go to this side. All right, there we go. Right now, I'm kind of juggling between the builds or my two weapons, which I'm kind of having to. All right, we're like one kill away from a, a nuke, I think. All right, sweet. We got our MGB. And I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. I don't care. We dropped 166 kills, though, so far. And it looks like we did just take a dub on this game as well. So since we got our MGB, now I can just try my best to get 200 kills. That should have been a collateral. Hip fire. We'll take it. 35 seconds. I mean, I don't want to freak out too much, but I at least want to get 180. I, I don't like... When I play, like, shipment, I want to try, like, getting the best gameplay I can get. 
Because if I just get like a like a hundred kills, I mean, I, I feel like I need something a lot better than just a hundred kills. So we have to go above and beyond. All right, there's 177. We're gonna call this helicopter in. All right, we got 18 seconds. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna freak out too much, but oh, I should. Man, we're at 180. Come on. Give me something. Give me something. We're going to go ahead and call that Advanced UAV in. Oh, I missed. Oh, come on, man. All right, come on. Hey. Hey, bud. You think I was gonna hide from you, buddy? You getting chased at? All right, 10 seconds. We're gonna go ahead and be safe, and we're gonna call this nuke in. I didn't get 200 kills, but I mean, hey, we we we're about to get 190 though. Hold on, let me let me get my 190th kill. Maybe not. There's 190. I hate that dude. And I didn't get that dude either, but. I mean, I will take this. And a nuke just dropped right on my head. But 192 kills. That should have been at least a, like, quad nuke or a triple. But we still got a nuke. And we still almost dropped 200 kills, which is super impressive. And, I mean, this weapon now is better than most SMGs now. Like, it's, it's actually crazy.